It is the 29th of the 3rd, 2013, and this is today's radioactive reality. Start on E&E News, the headlines. A dead dolphin spike in the Gulf of Mexico. Quote, we have been advised not to discuss our findings. Unquote. Mostly babies washing up. And this is all up and around the Gulf of Mexico. Manatees dying in droves on both coasts of Florida. Deaths of pelicans, turtles, dolphins also increasing. Quote, scientists fear this is the beginning of devastating ecosystem collapse. And how can we be surprised with all the Corexit and all that was and is the BP oil disaster? It continues. It continues. Expert events quickening at giant Louisiana sinkhole. Now this is Bayou Corn. Underground shifts now getting closer to the surface. Parts of well pad are still falling in. And they have a bunch of videos, flyovers and stuff of uh, the new collapsing around the, the big sinkhole. <clears throat> Video Unforsaken Health Problems Now Just Coming to Light After Fukushima Disaster. We have not yet begun to see this. Um, the insanity is just beginning. Federal government declares rare, unusual mortality event in Southern California. 70% of all newborn sea lions may be dying. Testing for toxins and infectious agents. Um, and again, with the tsunami debris and all the all the sludge and crap and, and who knows what else um, that's been mixed up out there in that ocean off the coast of Japan or off the coast of California um, and the radioactivity is just beginning just beginning new flyover during code 2 giant sinkhole of course they got new videos three mile island meltdown 34 years ago today well, this was yesterday. America's forgotten nuclear terror. Pregnant women and small children were told to leave the area uh, during the Three Mile Island meltdown, and it was a lot worse than they ever reported it to be. Of course, um, just going on and on with the, the typical playbook that is the nuclear industry. Uh, Arnie Gunderson, uh, death toll from Fukushima disaster to be a thousand times the IAEA estimate, and this is a story I covered again yesterday. Um, that is a severe underestimation. Uh, Arnie likes to put on those padded gloves. He don't like to scare the public too much. But thank you, Arnie, for what you do. U.S. sends nuclear-capable B-2 stealth bombers to South Korea. This is off of EXSKF uh, blog space. They've been covering the Fukushima disaster since day one. And again, the war drums with North Korea is going on, and hey, you know, we had everything completely under control, but those darn North Koreans just had to go start shooting off uh, rockets and missiles. <sighs> Watch out for it. Fukushima uh, nuke plant photo of an electrocuted and very dead mouse. They're trying to say this is the mouse that caused the electrical shortage, which took out all the cooling systems in uh, Fukushima not too very long ago. And, of course, charts and stuff with that. Uh, Google Street View's got some um, Fukushima Prefecture um, Tsunami Disaster Cities. Uh, Nami Machi, N-A-M-I-E-M-A-C-H-I. -E and, again, they've got Google Street View, so you can kind of roll through and see the devastated area. Uh, however long ago, this is probably last year when they did it or whenever. Uh, the JNES calculation of the amount of radioactive materials released from Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. Uh, they have some really insane um, numbers listed here, and again, I'm sure they've been doctored, but uh, always interesting to kind of keep everything, uh, all the ducks in the row, that kind of thing. I'm going to take you to another uh, website tonight in Formalog. I will attach the link, of course, below. Uh, Japanese utilities face 1.2 trillion yen burden every year for nuclear plants that are shut down. And they've got like 54 of them shut down right now, and it's just costing them money hand over fist. No new yacht in the harbor this year, as if they're already dumping uh, the, the ash from the open incinerators in Tokyo Bay, uh, radioactive as it is. Plans for nuclear plant construction is scrapped. Uh, they had a, one on the books since 1968 that's 10 kilometers north of the Fukushima Diani, or yeah, Fukushima Diani uh, nuclear power plant, and uh, they went ahead and scrapped 
uh, any plans to build in an exclusion zone because it's just too radioactive to build there right now. TEPCO's overconfidence and lack of humility blamed for Fukushima Daiichi disaster. On Wednesday, officials from the Atomic Energy Society of Japan discussed the report and their annual meeting. And again, no charges have been filed, and I doubt if any will be. Is Duke Energy taking a page from the TEPCO playbook? Question mark. Uh, it's an interesting story here. Currently, a seven and a half foot wall protects the uh, Oni nuclear power plant for prevents. Previous estimates show that between a nine and sixteen feet of, of increased water could be generated by flooding and threatening uh, the backup control systems. Um, so they're saying that they're ignoring the fact that there are dams upstream of uh, river from this nuclear power plant, and uh, they're not taking that into consideration as a one of those what ifs. Uh, when they're going to their safety. NRC and Edison to discuss license amendment at request for San Onfre unit number two. You gotta remember uh, San Onfre is where they built the steam generators. They, they tried to pack too many pipes. Um, they overstuffed it and it's vibrating itself apart and that's why it's been shut down for 18 months. Uh, they were requesting to fire up at 70 percent and uh, hopefully get through the system that way. But some of the experts saying uh, the generators won't last that long. They'll rattle themselves apart, uh, even at 70%, if they fire up San Onfre right now. So a very, very expensive mistake. Impeached governor linked to secret deal to construct fast breeder reactor. Former governor of the Northern Mariana Islands stands alone in history as the first governor of any U.S. territory to be the subject of impeachment. Watchdog experts evicted from post-Fukushima conferences. Interesting story, but no big surprise. Huh, Kevin? Japan orders TEPCO to install backup power sources at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Two years into it, one mouse takes out the power system and they didn't come up with a bright idea. Hey! Let's do a backup system. We probably need one of those. <sighs> and of course the stories just go on and on. Finally tonight I'm going to ask a favor. Now I've done something that I told myself I wouldn't do. I put a donation button up on my channel and I will attach a donation button on this video. I'm all geared up to go on the Appalachian Trail. I have the gear, I have the tickets to and from, um, but two days ago my oldest dog Cleo um, got very sick very suddenly and uh, needless to say we, we had to put her down um, and uh, really, really tore into my trip fund. Um, I'm going to go whether I got to eat peanut butter and ramen noodles the whole way. Um, Either way, but uh, it's just with less than two months to go, I, I can't recover that. Uh, it's just going to be impossible for me to recover the finances. Um, so if you could see it in your heart uh, to buy me a cup of coffee and maybe a cheeseburger on the trail, um, of course, the donation's down below. I will re be removing um, that link um, as soon as I leave for the trip. So if you would like and see it in your heart to... Uh, to give me a little hand here, uh, everything would be highly appreciated. Uh, enjoy what you can. I'm trying. Thanks, everybody.